Daily Sanders in Space is actually, in my opinion, is like the last business ever. Maybe I'm uh, drinking my own Kool-Aid too much. But like, we're essentially on a path to building a Dyson Sphere at some point. And you might call it a Matryoshka brain, which is a Dyson Sphere hooked up to as much compute as a star system will physically allow. Like, if you consider what proportion of the economy in a thousand years' time will be data centers in space, it'll probably be 99% of the economy. So, I mean, <laughs> that's, in my opinion, is where we're heading. If you mean, like, in the short term, like in the 50-year time frame, data centers in space will r mean that we'll develop a lot of very useful technology in general. So, one of the key pieces of technology you're building is a large, low-cost, low-mass deployable radiator. That is useful for almost all aspects of space. For example, if you're going to do asteroid mining, you're going to need to do refining in space. That will require dissipating heat in a vacuum. To dissipate heat in a vacuum, you're going to need a very large, low-cost, low-mass deployable radiator. If you want to build space hotels, that is probably going to have a concentration of heat you want to dissipate, like the ISS does. If you want to build manufacturing facilities in space, that will need to dissipate heat in a vacuum. I know com companies that are exactly doing every single thing that you just mentioned. Space yeah. stations... Asteroid mining. I think we have two companies now that are doing asteroid mining. And it's incredible what the, the technology defined, which is low cost deployable, large deployable space radiators. It's like a world where we pivot and become a space radiator company and we become extremely profitable just doing that.